Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, August 14th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Monday, August 19th, we have a big, beautiful full moon. You should really enjoy that as summer begins to wind down. Some giant sunspots have been kicking off uh, coronal mass ejections and geomagnetic storms. It's still a very active solar cycle. Uh, new drought information did not come out, so this is old. This is last week's, and uh, we've had some really drenching thunderstorms, so thinking that uh, this will be better uh, next week when we take a look. Nationwide, nothing changed because new data did not come in in time. Okay, let's put the smoke in uh, motion here, and you can see it's still Oregon, California, and Canadian fires, but for now, most of it is staying up here in the northeast corner and away from I-25. So we should be in the clear, at least for a little while. Yay, and no local fires doing anything bad. Uh, here's that rainfall. Look at uh, yellows are over two inches widespread right around Longmont, kind of weak, but in the foothills we have one inch or so in a lot of places. So yeah, let's keep this coming. In the short term we won't, but it will come back. Taking a look at the quasi-animation of the climatology of severe weather going to the fourth week of August. You can see it's really quieting down on average. Now it doesn't mean we can't get tornadoes and things out on the plains, but uh, it's becoming less likely. In reality, we have a marginal risk uh, out here on Wednesday out on the eastern plains, slight way further east. And then for Thursday, it, uh, just general thunderstorms. Friday, it's going to be even hard to see a thunderstorm north of Longmont. But south of Longmont and Denver, Colorado Springs, at least a thunderstorm is possible. Uh, so same thing, Wednesday, chance of storms, nothing severe. Thursday, definitely drying out. And Friday, even drier yet. Normal highs and lows are starting to really drop now. 88 to 86. Peeling away from the 90s. That's not reality, though. We will see 90s. 59 to 56. A little dry period here into the weekend. And next week, we should see the daily afternoon pulse thunderstorms. Uh, looking at water vapor. We do see Ernesto down here. It's projected to stay out at sea, not really affecting the U.S. We do have some moisture in the northern part of the state, dry air down south. And we'll put this in motion. We see the ridge here. Ridge center into the weekend is over New Mexico, Colorado border. So yeah, we're going to be very warm, very above average. Big low cranking off of Oregon here. That will keep the smoke away as you saw. But yeah, look at that 20th Tuesday into Wednesday, the ridge is just here, just high pressure sitting on us. This can bring moisture around into the state. We'll see that in a second, too. But into fr next Friday, there's Saturday the 24th, and the ridge is still here, just sitting over the west. Looking at temperatures, cool air pulling away, and we have cool to the northwest cool out on the plains, but right over Colorado, Wyoming, above normal temperatures. You do see the afternoon thunderstorms right there, those purple blobs, but yeah, in the background, day and night, temperatures are above normal. Now look at that east coast, so much cooler with the coming down on this side of the ridge, it's dragging Canadian air out to the east, but there's thunderstorms Again, all the way to next weekend, above normal temperatures. For water vapor, there's hurricane out here. Very dry, um, precipitable water values are below normal. And then surge of monsoon comes around. The moisture, at least in the beginning of next week, allows those afternoon thunderstorms to kick off just because it's hot and, and there's moisture. So those are the ingredients that you need into Thursday and Friday next week, above normal. There's another tropical system cranking out there. 
look at surface two points. The I'm not going to play too much of this, but the basic idea is it is dry in the interior of Colorado and the mountains. Moisture does keep just creeping back almost to I-25. There's 50s and 60 dew points. Then, yep, right there, and then it drops quickly back into the 40s and even 30s for a moment. So the moisture is not far away. It surges back every now and then, but we're right on that boundary. Looking at uh, actual precipitation forecast, going into the weekend, we are dry. There's Saturday, here comes Sunday. Western slopes in Utah are getting action. Central mountains on Monday. And then there's afternoon thunderstorms on Tuesday, Wednesday. So, yep, we see the afternoon thunderstorms. Kind of it. For the next five days, pretty light precipitation, unless you get a lucky thunderstorm hit. Over the next 10 days, more moisture is expected to get into the state later in the period. So 80s into the weekend, 90s for Friday. I think we might touch 100 at least in places near Longmont, and then we drop back to the 90s in the beginning of next week with thunderstorm chances returning. But as you saw, that's 8, 10 degrees above normal, so yeah. Let's be ready for some more summer for another week. That's it. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Esworth urging you to keep looking up.